Okay. You know what? I want you guys to reflect on your life right now. I really want you guys to take a deep look at where you're going in your life. Okay? Because if you witness that video and you feel nothing, something's not right with you. Something's not right. How could you not feel anything? Do you understand that that is priceless? That is priceless. And you will be so blessed to see such a beautiful presence. And you know what? No one, no one's gravitating towards the spirit. They all want to gravitate towards matter. Oh, look at the makeup I'm wearing. Look at the clothes I'm wearing. Um, look at this dance. Um, just selling you some stupid crap that you don't need. And they're lying about it because they want you to buy it. And you got all, all the love and all the energy for people like that. And when you see something so holy and so divine, tell me how the hell that no one liked it. No one is like, wow, this is amazing. You should want to be sharing that with your children. You should be wanting to show your husband that. You should want to show your family that. And no, not, it didn't even get a share. Because you don't believe. That's the problem. You're, you don't have faith anymore. You lost your faith and you're spiritually dead. Because you don't even, you can't even comprehend when you see something spiritual that that's spiritual. You don't know the difference. But then you're going to go and like a, a pastor who's, you know, preaching and he is not good and all that. You're going to like that though, right? You're going to like that. But then when you see a wonderful divine heavenly spirit that I show you guys this and nothing Nothing, 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 really. I really think, you know, that this little TikTok thing here, they make you think that you have all these followers, but most of those followers are bots, they're computer system. They make you think that these people are following you, they're looking at your videos, but then when you see only 200 people pass through that video out of 9,000, guys, come on, they're playing all of us. They're playing all of us. And if you were one of those 200 people that passed by that video and you didn't like it, something is wrong with you. Time for you to take a reality check and get your priorities straight because you need to get right with your spirit, okay? Because you're not focused on your spirit at all. You need to put God first. You need to put God first in your life. Okay? You stop caring about dumb, meaningless things that are just lustful spirits, lustful people dancing so productively in the music videos, on TV, talking about disgusting sex. It's just, and you're not even fighting for your children. Your children are going to school and they made all these changes. And not one of you are, are trying to make a change and trying to step up and say, no, I don't want this. I don't want this in my child's school. Why? Why aren't you doing something? You guys are really quick to judge. You're so quick to judge someone. Someone that you don't even know. Probably just came across my account that very was your first video you seen it and you just automatically believe it was fake or uh project blue beam or project blue book or all these dumb things you automatically think it's i i created it on a computer you know and then you got these ignorant people who don't believe in the heavenly father and they are defiant and they'll say i don't see nothing i don't see nothing but they see it they see it but they deny it. That's what they're doing. They're denying the Heavenly Father. They're denying themselves. You know, when that little jibby jabby thing came out, I didn't care. I said, you know what? When it's my, I believe when it's my time to go, it's already written up there. It ain't no shot gonna make a difference. No, 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 no. I put my, my, my hands in, in, you know, the hands of God. I trust in God, 
not man. And unfortunately, too many people decided to trust in man. Don't you know that God created our body so heavenly and so divine to, uh, uh, like, get over any type of flu or virus? All those flu viruses, they're all man-made. But if you trust in God, trust me, your life will be better. Put your, put your life in God's hands. Turn away from this wicked world. This world is getting so wicked. So wicked. So disgusting. I'm so disgusted with, like, the way that they are putting children, teenagers, little kids in a mind trance with these videos and promoting transgenderism. That's just disgusting. And I don't care who likes it or who don't. It's like, who gives them the authority to tell your child about sex before they're of age? You as the parent are supposed to decide that. Not the school, not the state, you. But now they have ripped that out of your hands. And you're none the wiser. You already feel like you're defeated. You're not even fighting back. You just got down on a knee and be like, yes, master. Okay, master. Oh, God. There's so many things going on with the planet right now. And you know what? It's, it's crazy that no one is interested. No one's concerned. No one's paying attention. But a tiny bit of people are paying attention. And I've watched many, many videos because they're trying to figure out what's happening. What's going on? You're trying to connect all the puzzles. You're not seeing it because you haven't done the homework. All these things were intentional. They all were intentional. The oil spills, 5G, did you not understand that 5G started killing birds? As soon as they put that out, we started seeing bats die 100,000, 300 just die, drop dead. I remember watching the documentary. He said, if we lose the birds and the bats and the bees, we lose our ecosystem. Where are the bees at? Because, you know, they're saying the bees are going missing. We're having less and less and less of them because they made these other big bees that eat the little bees. If there's no bees to pollinate, the flowers or the fruit, there won't be none. Everyone's seeing um, some type of effect, like on their car, jelly, uh, powder, uh, oil. And everyone's all, all, all acting like dumber than dumb. It's like, obviously that came from the sky. We all know what they're doing. We see them in the sky. We see the trails. Mind you, we can't talk about it because we already know what's going to happen if we talk about it. They banned the video if you speak it out loud. Because they don't want you talking about it. They want you to remain in a dumber than dumb, docile mind state. Okay? So what they do is they feed you dumb things. They feed you irrelevant things. Mindless things. And you focus your, your attention on that. You gravitate to, more towards that than you do your own spirit. Remember they, had, they, they came out with TVs? No one had TVs. They had radio, then they had TVs, now they have the phones. And what, what's going on with these phones? You can't even leave the house without it. What do you think that is? Think about it. Think hard. Think real hard. Because I know the answer. I know the answer. Because I put, I did the homework. They had us all like zombies in, inside watching TV. Mind you, we hear all now about these mind trans states that these uh, <coughs> mind programming. Now they don't even want you to leave the house without your mini TV. Because that's what your phone is. It's a, it's a phone and a mini TV. Everybody watching videos on it. As long as you're looking down on these videos and watching dumb, dumb, dumb videos, you're not paying attention to what's happening to the planet. You're not seeing all the whales dying. You're not, you don't know, you're not aware about these parasites that are killing the whales. 
And about this that deadly shark? I wonder if they created that too. Because they created clones, right? Synthetic clones. And now they're all dying. They're all dying. There's no one here fighting for them. There's no one here crying for them. There's no one here saying nothing for the whales or any marine life or any of the birds, any of the animals that are just perishing. Remember when all those deers had that virus? Remember that? It's like people just forget. Forget about the meaningful things that happened that we need to remember. We can't forget about those things. Those things matter. They were bad, but they were of relevance for you to remember these important things. For you not to forget. To have coaxial cables underneath the ocean. That frequency is causing harm to the fish and the whales. Marine life. That's why we've been seeing them wash ashore. No one is the wiser. Here I've been seeing yellow stuff in the rain. They want us to believe it's pollen. Some people believe it's sulfur. There's so many things going on right now and you're always being distracted with that bridge collapse. And then when you find out they do nothing but rituals all the time, it's a ritual, it's a ritual, ritual, ritual. Now that you find out that they do so many rituals, you, you do not think they did like a bad ritual for the Heavenly Father? You, did, did that ever even dawn on you? Like they're doing this voodoo witchcraft, these, these rituals. What if they put a spell on all of y'all to move you away from the Heavenly Father? What if they did that and you're completely unaware of it? Why? Because you're programmable. If you have a computer chip, they can make you feel happy, tired, sad, hungry, or drug addicted, depressed, anything. They can turn you on and off. Okay? They make people act crazy and insane. I remember seeing this video probably like 15 years ago and I never forgot about it about this autism boy, very peaceful, loving little boy. And he killed his parents. And he was like, why, why did you do that? Because the voice told me, uh, who told you the boy? He thought it was God, okay? He didn't know, but somebody was sending a frequency in his head and made him do something. That way he didn't do that of his own will. That was a, a, a boy who was like, 13, 14, and he was innocent, and if he never have heard those voices in his head, he would have not have done that, but people would just write it off. Oh, he's schizophrenic. Well, check this out. You ever standing there, and all of a sudden a song plays in your head? Why the hell is that? Because you're picking up on that frequency. That's why. There's a lot of bad things going on in this planet and people are just aligned. And I just recently watched a documentary from this lady that used to work for the government and she said that they dispose of toxic waste next to the volcano. And then you wonder why oil is dropping down on people's cars in sludge and slime. They shot a hole through the uh, firmament. No one has nothing to say about that. They removed God out of the schools. Everyone just sat back and let it happen. No one fought for it. No one did anything. Even when they come for your children, you're just sitting back doing nothing. It's like they had a thousand people marching for pathological liar Obama, but now you can't even march for your children, for the future of all children. You don't even march for that. What is wrong? What's happening here? Why is that? Why is that? That doesn't make sense. Why people want to be like, oh no, this, is, this, this ain't going on. I'm not supporting that. Nope. And make fires go on on every one door and be like, come on, we need, to get, we need to get this law changed. We need to do something. We need to turn this around. No one did anything. They just sat there. They waited for someone else to do it. And then that someone else waited for someone else and again and again and again.
and then nothing was never changed. Nothing was resolved. And all their terrible laws, okay, which do not serve anyone but themselves, passed. And no one, it was as if people just went on with their lives and didn't, it didn't affect them. What the hell? Why wouldn't you be affected by that? Isn't that your child? You want them showing books that talk about anal sex? Boys on boys and girls on girls in your in their school? You okay with that? Really? You okay with that? Because I sure the hell wouldn't be if I had a small child. Hell no.